Welcome to another edition of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Andrew Wiebe. Maximum effort would seem to be a requirement of the professional game. An expectation rather than something to be praised. Still, some take hustle to the next level, and Seattle Sounders forward Lamar Nagel did just that in a 4-0 victory against the San Jose Earthquakes on May 11, 2013, when his tireless running started and finished a ruthless counterattack. Let's wind it back and break it down. The play begins with back-to-back -back turnovers in San Jose's half, allowing Rafael Baca to escape pressure and push into midfield. There it seems the Quakes will hold on to possession and return the favor, but Baca passes centrally to Sam Cronin, who plays into pressure while an unmarked Baca gestures wildly for the ball on the wing. Big mistake. Here's where Nagel enters the play, streaking back in support from his striker position and forcing Ramiro Corrales into a hurried pass before closing down Cronin. Notice Baca is still screaming for the ball, while Cronin, who's now surrounded by five Seattle defenders, chooses the wrong time to casually drag the ball back to, he hopes, his teammate. Of course, Cronin's pass never makes it there, as Mauro Rosales steps in to touch the ball to Brad Evans, who sprays it wide to Eddie Johnson's feet a split second before Corrales takes Evans out, and himself out of the play. At this point, San Jose looks poised to deal with Seattle's break, it's four on two, and Cronin, as he should, leaves Rosales to Victor Bernardes to double-team Johnson with Justin Morrow on the wing. Chance smothered, right? Wrong. Neither player truly closes the Seattle forward down as he enters the penalty area, leaving a gap that the Sounders exploit brilliantly, or perhaps, you might argue, a bit accidentally. Johnson slips a clever little chip between the two defenders, and Seattle have a 2v2 situation. How is that possible, you might ask? Well, Nagel never stopped running after forcing the original turnover. Baca, for all his gesturing, never made a recovery run, and Corrales was out of the play once Evans' pass cleared his challenge. In the meantime, Nagel made a beeline for goal. That leaves Steven Betasher, who initially looks like he's checking to Nagel's run before becoming distracted by Johnson's pass for a solace. The Argentine playmaker's poor touch sucks Betashore toward the ball and Nagel, who is running at full speed at this point, takes advantage, beating everyone to the ball and rifling a right-footed half volley off John Bush's hands and into the back of the net. The moral of the story? Hustle pays off, even at the professional level. Nagel applied the pressure, created the turnover, and beat San Jose's midfield down the field to open the scoring and set the tone for what became an epic Cascadia beatdown. Well, that's it for this episode of Anatomy of Goal. Join us next time when we wind it back and break it down.